fashion proof don't you know it's my fuel hey everyone today i'm going to share with you my paragliding adventure with my sister so if you're interested in paragliding and what to know about it if you have questions please tune in so what exactly is paragliding? Based on the website, this is their definition. So paragliding is a non-motorized, foot-launched form of free flying with an inflatable lightweight wing. So how is it different from hang gliding? So sa hang gliding, yun yung parang matigas na baka with a triangular thing. And with paragliding, it looks more like a parachute. So malambot siya. And we didn't exactly do lessons with the paragliding team. What my sister and I did is called a tandem paragliding. So, dun sa tandem paragliding, there's a pilot, tapos sasakay ka along with the pilot, and then yung pilot yung magka-control no um, flight nyo. So if you're a beginner and you don't have any experience, tandem paragliding would be the best experience for you because you don't need any skills. There's a pilot na mako control ng flight nyo and you'd be totally safe. So actually, there's a lot of paragliding sites here in the Philippines. I will link the paragliding website on the description box down below. Tapos kayo na pipile ko anin pinaha malapit sa inyo. Pero nowadays, the site we went to is the one that's operational. So the one that we went to is in Cardona Rizal. So actually, we live in the east, so it's just a couple of minutes drive from our place. So it's actually a very easy drive. If you are from the south, it's very likely that you will take Ortigas Avenue. You will pass through Taytay, Angono, Binangonan, and then you'll get to Cardona. And the people who's organizing this experience for you will send you a Waze pin. So the best you could do is to just really pin the location and follow Waze. What else should you expect? So as I mentioned, there will be a very short hike. So please make sure that you're in the proper condition to actually hike. So it's not really like a very long hike. I think it's a 10 to 15 minute hike. Um, for a person like me who do not really like to hike, it wasn't so bad. The path is okay. Um, there are no stairs, um, but it's not super muddy. Um, there were grass, but it's not so bad. Prior to your flight, you would also be talking to the instructor or the people organizing this experience for you about the weather. So actually, we've rescheduled this experience a couple of times because um, they're the ones who actually know whether the weather would be good for that day. So I think we rescheduled twice um, and it's totally free. Um, I think they let you reschedule since the flight is really based on weather. So don't be worried about um, missing your flight if it about the weather so if it's about the weather conditions I think you can reschedule and reschedule and they're totally fine with it you should also expect that the experience is not just for you um, there will be also groups of people who book the same experience with you in our case my sister and I were with a group of four so there were six of us waiting um, for our turn to fly um, they were foreigners but I think um, out of the six of us only um, five of us will be flying um, however, since we did a lot of waiting, there were more groups of people who started to come in. There were um, groups of foreigners again um, who paid for the same experience. So I think if I'm going to estimate, there were around 20 of us. But because we were first, we expect to fly first. So what should you bring in this paragliding experience? I brought a bottle of water. It was a liter, there was ice, and it kept cold. So it's very important that you have water. Like I said, there will be hiking involved, going to the spot, and there would also be hiking involved if you landed somewhere lower than expected. So I'll talk about that later. I also want everyone to bring a snack or a lunch. So my sister and I wasn't really expecting um, to go past lunch since our appointment was 10 a.m. However, we really had to wait for good wind, so it took us a while. So, um, so, so we ended up getting really hungry, and there's no place to buy food from in that area. And what should you wear when you're paragliding? My advice is to wear exercise clothes, um, preferably long sleeves and leggings. So as you can see, I was wearing compression pants, shorts, a shirt, and jacket. I was also wearing a baseball cap. You need as much coverage as possible um, because um, there's a lot of 
plants and shrubbery around you. So when you make a crash landing on a tree, you want to be as protected as possible. Not that I'm saying that you'd have a crash landing on a tree, but it could happen. So brace yourself for that. They would also provide the helmet that you'd be using. That's why I would advise that if you're going to borrow the helmet they're providing, make sure you have a baseball cap so that the helmet does not touch your head because it had been used previously, right? So you don't want to be sharing um, something. So for hygiene purposes, I suggest bringing a baseball cap. If you have your own helmet, you, I, I guess you could bring it uh, just so that you don't have to share it with anyone. As for your shoes, I would advise to wear hiking shoes or something that's good for hiking. Don't wear um, slippery sneakers, slippers, or anything that would make hiking difficult for you. If you want, you could also bring hiking gloves because um, in my sister's experience, so she landed somewhere below, so she had to hike back up. Um, the hike wasn't an easy walk, so there was climbing involved. So she said she had to hold on to some plants and to some shrubbery. So it would be helpful if you have gloves so that you don't hurt your hands. So now that we're all prepared, let's talk about our experience. My sister was the one who went first. And um, since she was the one who went first, everybody was so curious, was so excited. So everybody was watching her. We were so excited for her. She had a good takeoff. They went really high. It was super exciting. It was so fun to watch. However, it was really shocking. Because the landing spot was supposed to be the same area as your takeoff spot, ideally. So, of course, you're not supposed to land on water. Um, you're supposed to land where you came from, ideally, so that there's no hiking involved. However, I think the wind wasn't strong enough that time, so they landed somewhere below. Uh, it was a really scary experience, I think more for me than my sister, because I couldn't see. So on my line of sight, I couldn't see where they landed. So for me, they just really vanished. But um, be assured that no matter what happens, they will try um, and they will land as much as possible on land and not water. So um, even though they can't really control the ascension of your uh, paragliding equipment they can control where you land so no matter what happens you will not land on water so worst case scenario you'll just land somewhere lower and you just have to hike back up so that's what happened to my sister so she had to hike back up and she was exhausted after that so because her flight was really short the paragliding pilot max offered her another ride so of course she has to experience it the way it was supposed to be experienced like 10 to 15 minutes of flight um so he offered another round so they went at it again so for her second try we had to wait a couple of minutes i think we had to wait like 30 minutes before they could fly again and they did so they so they took off um they went back high up but unfortunately i don't know what is it with my sister pero um, they again landed somewhere below and this time it was more of a crash landing on a tree so she said it was a scarier experience and the hike was more difficult but of course they didn't land on water they still landed on land however they landed on shrubbery so unfortunately medyo hindi siya the best landing possible and they had to hike back up and by this time Super exhausted na talaga nung sister ko. So, um, when she got back, sobrang pagod na pagod na talaga siya. And the instructor was actually wanting to go again. So, he offered another round for my sister. But because she's so tired, I offered to go in her place. Sabi ko, after ko na lang siya, so that she could rest. And fortunately for me, the wind was super good. <laughs> I shouldn't have offered, kasi bahan experience ni ate yung really good wind. Pero I offered kasi. So uh, we had a good takeoff. It was a little scary taking off because they will just really let you know uh, what to do um, on the spot. So um, they told me to just have my legs straight and then I will just sit down once we're on flight. So very basic naman yung instructions. But of course, diba, um, for someone uh, who's doing it for the first time, it could be scary. But once you're on air, it's the best experience possible. I think my fear was not really falling, but not landing on the spot where we took off. Because I hate hiking. I don't want to experience what my sister experienced. 
So I think I was more scared of that than the actual paragliding experience itself because paragliding was magical. Sobrang ganda ng views and I'm so glad I rented a GoPro from them to capture the experience. Sobrang okay talaga ng experience. You could see you could see in my expression that I'm so excited. I got to see um, views that are so magical. I know that you can see views like that when you're on an airplane, but it's different, di ba? Kasi um, when you're paragliding, you can go around. It's like you're a bird, di ba? Tapos, you can see the people. The people are so kind. They're saying hi. It was so fun. Uh, I think the another scary experience for me was the landing because we weren't really oriented on how to take off and how to land. And they were just giving me instructions as we were landing. So the person told me to I think taas ko daw yung pa ako. I wasn't really so sure. Uh, I think that's what he was saying. Taas ko yung pa ako. But I was so confused. I think my mind knows what he meant, but my body didn't. So instead of raising my foot, I stood up and uh, my legs were so straight. And we had like a not so graceful landing. But it wasn't really painful. It wasn't just as graceful as I wanted it to be. But overall, it was a really fun experience. It was so fun. It was so worth it. So this will be my sister's third try and fortunately for her, it was pretty good actually. So they managed to go high up. Um, I think the only difference was she, did, she didn't go as far as I did. So the wind wasn't as ideal as when I was doing it. But she still managed to fly high up. So I think the flight lasted a good 5 minutes or so. Tapos, out of all of us, I think she had the best landing. So as you can see, her landing was actually really good. Um, kaya lang nga, yun nga, hindi masyadong matagal yung flight experience niya. And um, unfortunately, for the first two, she had to hike back up. But as you can see, it's really nothing to worry about. You're not going to die. Um, it's just really very likely that you land on a less than ideal spot. So how much did we spend for this paragliding experience? Actually, on weekdays, um, they charge you 3,000 pesos. And on weekends and holidays, they charge you 3,500 pesos per head. And if you want to rent their GoPro, which I suggest you do, um, you just have to add 500 pesos so that you could capture your experience. In my experience, the pilot took the GoPro from me so that he could take a different angle. Because in the ng GoPro, it's only really me. <laughs> so when he took it from me, it was so fun. He got to shoot a different angle. It was a great experience. So would I recommend this experience to you guys? I definitely will. So it's not the cheapest experience you could have, but it, for 3,000 pesos, you get to experience what birds experience. It's so fun. Um, and it's not so far from Manila, it's an easy drive, and it's a good bonding activity with your siblings, your friends, your family. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have questions about paragliding, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have family and friends interested in doing the same activity that we did, please share this video to them so that they know what to do when they get there. Please subscribe to all my socials, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at TotallyAlvin. I will see you again next time. Bye!